morning. Go. Welcome to Inner City Long Form Improv Jam. We have a full meal planned for you this evening. But first, I'd like to show you our menu. Let me share the menu with you here. And here we go. So we are Intercity Inform Prof Jam. And when you signed up for musical or non-musical, you are now being randomly assigned to one of two teams out of four. And at some point, your name will be called for a team. You're going to turn on your camera and you will be in that set. It will be a montage of 15 minutes. Now that means that the scenes can be related or not. So when you first hop on, somebody will ask for a suggestion and after, and then two people will hop on or possibly more, start a set, a scene. And if somebody wants to get in, if you feel like it's come to an end or, or way past an end, you can sweep. And what that means is you'll just wave your arm like this, sweep. They, everyone there will turn off their cameras and hopefully someone will join you and start a new scene. The other possibility is a tag out. And what you can do is say, tag out so-and-so, that person will leave and you can take on a new character with the people that are still there. At about two minutes before the end of your uh, whole entire set, you will get your timekeeper. So pay attention to who that is. We'll come up and tell, show you that you've got a bit of time left. At that point, what you should really do is try to get in if you are not in that scene, especially if it's a musical set. It's really nice to have the very last one be a big group number so you can figure out a way to call people in to your scene that you're doing, or you can figure out your own way to jump in. Now, if it is your team up there, you can keep your audio unmuted even if your video's off. However, people that are not on that team should have both muted, both audio and video. And if there is any background music or sound at all, we will mute you. Just war warning about that. If you, uh, for your first time here, for your video settings, you're gonna to wanna to hide non-video participants so that it looks clean like this. You don't see those empty boxes. In the top right corner, it should say speaker view, which means that you're in gallery view. And if you are in a musical set on the top left corner here, you're gonna to wanna to click turn off original sound and that will turn blue Fair warning, we are streaming on Facebook. And so um, I wanna say hi to, hi to all my fans. And what I'd like all of you to do is to turn on your videos now and wave hi to all the people that you invited to come see you. So I'm gonna stop the stream here. Say hi. Yay. All our beautiful, happy faces here. And throw it back. Now, there are some sensitive topics we would like you to avoid. Anything political, religious, blue, blue humor, stalking, socioeconomic disadvantage, cursing. These are examples. We do have banned topics. So please, no flashing of each other. No discussions of rape, <coughs> kidnapping, miscarriage, suicide. I'm going to mute somebody. Um, racism, other isms, mental illness. Anything that makes a person's identity the butt of a joke. And... These are examples, not an exhaustive list. If you are in a set and you uh, feel that there's something going terribly wrong, or if you are your team is there, please swipe the scene and start a new scene. If you're in the audience, also feel free. You can also sweep that scene or call a timeout, and that will be their clue to start a new scene. 
if there's something that just makes you uncomfortable and you don't feel like you it's worthy of a sweep, please message us and let us know what makes you feel like, yeah, you're not sure, but you just wanted to bring it to our attention. Please do so. Any of us, I or any of the volunteers uh, just message us privately because we really want to create a fun, safe space for all of you. Tips. One person speaking at a time. Keep this a safe place. Be nice to everybody, both on screen or in the chat. Use your real face, not a mask. Manage your playing time and look out for your teammates. So try to make sure everybody on your team is getting somewhat equal playing time. And if you notice somebody that's not really come out hardly at all, you can tag them in. And especially new people, if you haven't seen them here before, they might feel a little uncomfortable. So help them get out onto the scene. When improvising music, don't worry about lag. Don't worry about anything. Our musicians are amazing. And even if you think you're awful, they'll make you sound good. Have fun, laugh, it lightens the mood. Stick around till the end. We have a group game and you will find out who our featured troop is for next week. And we also do after it's all over, we have a chat and you usually chat about the people who have left already. So you might wanna just stay for that. And please spread the word. Uh, we are on, oh, and what in our chat, hopefully you will see a link for our live stream. Please share that with people because uh, you can share with your neighbors, your friends and become famous. <laughs> you can also find all of our old videos. We have a YouTube channel. So if you want to go back for uh, something you did last week or two weeks ago or two months ago, they're all up there. So go check them out. Now, drum roll please for our future, our featured troop of this evening. Tonight, we have a very important, interesting troop, which is Simprov from Ottawa, Canada. I think this is a very cool idea. I'm excited to see this because uh, I've never seen someone do that before. So I think this will be a real fun to watch. And um, scene. Speaking of music, before we get, oops, didn't want to do that. Speaking of music, I wanted to mention that this evening we have the band playing for us. And so here they are. So can I have a... Oh, Master. Mm. All right. So let's get yeah. back for Master. Yeah. yeah. So that would be very exciting for those of you in the musical and, and those listening to the musical groups. Oh, I think my head's like half chopped up. There we hey, go. Hey, Laura, there are a couple of people that haven't registered. Uh, we sent messages to if you want to, want to, they want to respond to us what they want. We'd appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. So please Angel, um, David, either David. chat to. Angel or Dave Shapiro on the chat to let them know that which if you want, want a musical or a non-musical because Got we it. are now about to start our we're going to start with team one which is actually hosted by Dave Shapiro no no I'm not Dave Shapiro uh, Nick. sorry change oh, Nick Condon it's hosted by me Nick Condon uh, it's I have by Dave Shapiro, uh, who looks like this. You can't see him now, but trust me, you'll be able to tell when he shows you what he looks like. Uh, so we're gonna introduce our first team right now. So, uh, he's gonna pop on screen when you got about two minutes left. Be on the lookout for that. We have Elite Lavino from San Francisco, California. Come on screen. We have Michael Workowski from San Diego, California. Kevin Wilcox from New York. <laughs> Angus McDonald. Ottawa, Ontario. Rich Gilbert from Ottawa, Ontario. Colin White from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And Greg Little from Berkeley, California. Give it up for Team One, y'all. Hey, we're Team One. Can we get a suggestion of your favorite body part? Mm -hmm. Not not that Weenus. one. Elbow. Elbow. I had elbow. Weenus is this. Yeah, okay. that's the weenus. So, 
I, it's, it's this thing. I also elbow. heard the word I heard bomb. elbow and elbow. I, elbow. Elbow. I'm, I'm I heard elbow to too. Try to say. Oh. Yours is bigger. I thought mine was yeah. yours is bigger. <laughs> I told you that, Fred. I said, like, listen, like, like, I know that you like think yours is gonna be bigger, but like mine's like look look at this. Look, look at this, sir. Okay, um, like, like, don't like don't come at me being like, um, oh my elbow, like, like come on. You gotta respect the bow. You gotta respect the bow. I do. I've gained respect for you and I've lost respect for myself in all of this. Is there any way that uh, I can make it up to you not believing that your elbow is bigger than my elbow? I want you to apologize to the bow. I want you to tell the bow how much you love it. I want you to, I want, I want, I want you to tell me my bow that you love it and I want you to believe it. Seems okay? Fair. It seems fair. <laughs> yeah, do it. Do it. Tell my bow that you love it. Bow? Yeah. I, have lo I, I love many things, and at the top of that chart is, for some reason, elbows. Whoa, 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 whoa. For some reason? Come on, come on. Really? Like, I want you to commit to this. I don't oh, want, like, I, I don't want to have that. I don't want, like, I don't want, like, oh, I also love my family. No, 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 no. You love the bow. Cut to, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join in holy matrimony this man and this elbow. Crowd videos. Um, now the couple have uh, written their their own vows. I'm ready to begin. Fourteen ninety eight. I love the bow. I love. No hesitation. No other. The bow. Yeah, you love the bow. That's where it ends. Whoa! Oh, wow. That's it. Well, I wanted. Yeah. I wanted it to be clear. Because the bow and wrote, because the bow wrote vows too. I'm ready to hear them. Uh, tag out, everybody. Leave Michael. So you went to the wedding? Yes, I did. It's just, my God, you wouldn't believe that Eve, the elbows, vows. It was just, it was poetry in motion. Okay. You know, this is a sensitive topic for me. That was my husband who left me for an elbow. I know that, but. Can't you be happy for him? I mean, I know you're angry, but don't you at the end of the day want him to find happiness? Don't you want him to live a full life? Mom, why isn't dad home? Because, honey, I am, um, I guess I just couldn't give him what that elbow gives him. Does he not love my elbows? You have great elbows. They just, they'll grow. Aww. And maybe one day they'll be big enough for him. Oh, sorry guys. I just, I was getting some of my things. I didn't mean to Papa. interrupt all. I'll go, uh, um, wow, this was ill-advised. Son, this is, uh, it's hard. Um, so, uh, uh, you brought the elbow? You brought uh, him with what? you? you hey. uh, this is, this was, this was. I don't understand. I did uh, All right, all right. It's, um. Is this going to take long? I have both things to do. I, I was just getting ready to bear my soul. Is it? That's it. How, how long is it? I'm slamming oh, the door in your oh, elbow. Oh, oh, let's, the bow. Bo, let's go. We're not welcome here. <laughs> I need to get to a wow. hospital. The, the bow needs to get to a hospital. That bow will never, will never wax poetic again, I bet. Sweetie, I'm sorry you had to see that. Sweep. Sweet. Excuse me, can I get a waiter in here? Um, I'm here, I'm, I'm sorry. And waitress or server, we prefer. Oh, no. well, okay, whatever. But I asked for elbow macaroni, and this is obviously knee macaroni. Look, I know you specifically requested elbow, and we typically carry elbow, but today we were out of elbows. <laughs> that will do. Hey, Find hey. Me. Hey, I ordered angel hair pasta, and this is just human hair. Look, we've oh, been that's disgusting. To substitutes today, but honestly, yeah. guys, just I, I, I ordered ladies' fingers, but these are obviously just some guys' fingers. 
Yes, again, substitutions today, but please, I would encourage you all to approach these differences with an open mind. I mean, not that's normally. actually my hair, sir. And oh. I have to say, it, I've I've been taking a lot of care with it. It smells. Whose right. fingers are those? Uh, I can't say exactly whose fingers, but look, men's fingers are actually notice the chewiness, a little more texture, right? I, I'm particularly enjoying the calluses. Mm -hmm. I, at least I still have pasta. I don't know how you guys are holding up, but I think look, I'm, I think this is better now. I mean, you. if I paid for it, I feel like I have to eat it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? You know that feeling? Okay. It, it's like, I'm a, well, if you paid for it, then you kind of got to use it. Mm. Well, I will let the chef know that these, maybe these should become staples. Mm. I Forget would love elbows. Some staples. Forget lady fingers. Forget, you know, any sort of real pasta. Uh, this is good. This is good, guys. Mm. Enjoy. Perfect. Thank you. Uh... So, uh, you guys like sports? I mean, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for the ultimate arm wrestling league? Coming yes. over here on the side, we have <laughs> Johnny the Bicep Biceps and his opponent, Weak Wrist Randy. Oh! <laughs> Yeah! Hi, guys. I'm re weak wrist, Randy. Hi. Oh, Randy, how do you get it get so far into this? I don't even know. I don't know. I just and I eh. biceps, Johnny. How do you feel about that? Yeah, your biceps, Johnny. Oh, sorry, oh, sweetie, sweetie. Real quick, uh, before you start, you didn't put your wrist braces on. Okay. And oh. here's. And here's an apple, okay? Love you. Oh, love apples. Thanks, oh weak wrist Randy has someone that loves him. How do you feel about that, Biceps Johnny? <laughs> biceps? Do you have anyone in your life, Biceps Johnny? I don't think you do. All you care about is the sport. I, you know, really, I entered it for the for the love component. I was so lonely. Yeah. Sweetie, sweetie, you got a smudge on your face real quick. Let me just get that smudge. Oh, yeah. Face. Look, you okay. got a smudge off your face. You got no time. I, <laughs> like, he so has no time to wipe smudges off his face because it because the person who loves him is going to do it. Uh, ah. Oh, that's an actual hit. This is an arm wrestling <laughs> leak. You <laughs> saw it up beforehand. You can't smack someone in the face. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, You've my. killed him. <laughs> You killed weak west weak wrist Randy. I'm weak too wrist strong. Randy. I'm too You're strong. Biceps I, Johnny. I, I, You're gonna I go to it. jail. Yeah. I got it. Everybody but Greg. So you killed a man in arm wrestling. Well, I didn't exactly arm wrestle him to death. I I sort of punched him before the arm wrestling match took place, but in my defense, I thought it was a boxing match. Hey, this is Hey, in the prison arm wrestling league, punches are legal. I mean not legal cuz you know we're we're still in prison, but right. you know, you're not you're not going to get in like double prison. <laughs> All right. Well, then I'm in. I'm in. Tag, tag out Kevin. Welcome to double prison. <laughs> you're here because you killed people in regular prison. This is the worst kind of prison. But they told me in regular prison <laughs> that there wasn't a worse prison. Well, those criminals lied to you. Tag out, uh, Angus. Welcome to triple prison. <laughs> Tag out, Colin. Someone in... <laughs> this is... I, I'm... Welcome to Septuple prison. You're pick here up, because- Pick up Kevin. <laughs> oh boy. Welcome to <laughs> hell. It's kind of better than double prison. You know, that one I'd actually heard about, so this is not so bad, actually. Tag out, Rich. Oh, you're alive again. Welcome what? back to life. The ultimate prison. <laughs> that, that's deep and I know, terrifying. right? I know, I know, I know, right? Right. I'm already. Tag out, Angus. In the worst prison. Welcome right. to double hell. You died <laughs> double when you were in hell. What did I do? I punched one guy, and then it was all a blur. <laughs> 
Take out Colin. Welcome to heaven. You somehow circled around so many times and found a secret off ramp and made it to heaven. <laughs> Take out Michael. <laughs> Welcome to double heaven. It's even better than regular heaven. This is like or is it worse? Orange. And sweet. sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad you two could join me here today. Thank you so much Just, for in, I'm inviting us. Yeah. Well, well, hey, you know, you don't move into an apartment building more than once, you know, and you got to get, you got your neighbor who lives above you and your neighbor who lives below you. And I thought, you know, I should get to know you guys. Yeah, I'm, like I'm really happy to be your above neighbor. Thank you. And yeah. I'm so happy to be below you. Thank you. Um, well, uh, I guess i uh, just ask you guys a little bit about yourselves. Um, do you have any hobbies? Oh, I'm a tap dancer. Tap yep. dancer. Okay. Okay, what time of day do you normally do? Oh my, do I love night? tap dancing. It's my passion. I mean, who oh. knows? Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I just feel like so motivated. Inspired, and it's, yeah. It's because it's, it's like spirits in me. And I just get up and I just, woo, river dance. Okay, okay. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. well, that, that's fine. That's fine. Downstairs, uh, what, what, what do you got? Bagpipes. I'm an avid bagpipe player, but I have this weird insomnia. I can, oh, I God. am awake and playing I knew during the I night and asleep during night. the day. Okay. Because so, you used to play those bagpipes. That just wakes me up. I start tap dancing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It's great, isn't it? So you've been doing it for a long time. At least you're really good at the bagpipes. Oh, the door was unlocked. Oh. Uh, Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's me, uh, the neighbor who lives behind you. Okay. And you know, this uh, apartment building has three dimensions, right? Yeah, I did not and know this that. Is, yeah. yeah, so I'm the neighbor who lives behind you. Uh, okay, good. Okay, I just like uh, practicing uh, my Brian Blessed impression 24 hours a day. Oh, you're gonna hear me yelling a lot. Okay, well, sometimes you are I'll nailing it. To get the, the British accent, sometimes I won't. You were nailing okay, it. Okay, so so we so we got bagpipes, tap dancing, accent work. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm the neighbor that lives uh, diagonal from you. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, 305. I, 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 in my spare time, I like to, uh, practice my heavy metal! Uh, Whoa, this! Yeah! You don't need a bagpipist, do you? Oh, that'd be great, man. I'm a ghost! Oh, hey, ghost! Hey, I guys. live in your apartment. Ooh. Wait, sorry. Oh, you live in my apartment. With, yes. With... Okay. Well, are yeah, you? Yeah, like, we actually quiet? thought there was somebody living here, yeah. and then you came, so we now realize it was a ghost. But yeah, uh -huh. he's been oh. yeah. Yep. I live was part of World War Two. World War Two ghost. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's okay. Why um, the guns. Yeah. Yeah. All the. That's why the uh, guns. They, they they said they had to stay in the apartment. Ooh. They came with it. Okay. Yeah, it's legal reasons. Yeah. So, did. what do you do? Tell us about yourself. Um, I make quiches mostly. Oh, sir. Uh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Oh, I'm just. Uh, I made it to a triple heaven, and one of the perks oh. of triple heaven is to 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 go and, and witness uh, the most happening and cool things going on in this apartment. Uh, Thank you. So, so your that. triple heaven is kind of like my single hell. Um, when you put it that way, it sounds cruel to you. Uh, I suppose so. But it is very enjoyable for me. I Mary had a little lamb! Yeah. Little okay. lamb! Whoa. Little yeah. lamb! Mary had a little lamb! Mary had a little lamb! Mary had a to be! I just, I just wanted to make my, my quiches, or that's the, yeah, they, they take quiet. <laughs> We Ooh. don't turn our quiches in this building. Please, oh. sweep, Wait, you make sweep, sweep. <laughs> Listen, it seems to me if our castle has no law, has no more or arms, the only bows that we can use are our elbows. We'll just tie a string be on between the shoulder and the hand and we'll launch arrows like this okay that seems that seems to make sense let me try yeah you first. i can't see any I'm possible sure i could probably aim whoops
Wow, that arrow hit like three people at once. In the day. <laughs> Thank you, Team One. Great use of elbows in that scene. Now, at this point, uh, we are going to talk to you a little bit about merchandise. So there we have an Etsy shop. And if you're interested, you should go there, check out what we have. And in fact, for your pleasure, you don't even have to go there. You can see it right here. Um, here are some items. And this is our site, and then I'm going to stop, and I'm going to let you see people who actually, actually, I can't stop. I'm not sharing this. <laughs> um, look at all the merchandise. We have got uh, Mr. Ostrok is over there with a mug. We have, oh, yes, Jess Kent with her magnet, I believe, or I think it's a magnet. It used to be a sticker. Oh, it's a sticker. Did you make it into a magnet? It could be. Oh, that's so cool. All right. What a great idea because Brian has the original sticker. Brian, good idea there. Make it into a, and we've got, oh, look at that. Dawn's got a nice shirt and we've got a mask over with Ankel. Thank you very much, everybody. Great use of Etsy shop. So go ahead shopping. You'll look great. And then you could be the model next week. Uh, right now, we are going to go with Team 2. And to announce Team 2, well, come on up, our host of Team 2. Hi, everybody. I'm Michael. As I call your name, go ahead and turn on your video and make sure your audio comes on as well. Team 2 is our first musical team of the evening and will be timed by Mr. Brian Sebe. If you see him pop up, that means roughly two minutes or last scene in a musical. That means probably last song. So let's get Nick Condon from Portland, Oregon. Don Robertson from Corpus Christi, Texas. Angel Canez from Sevilla, Spain. NJ Phillips from Detroit, Michigan. And Laura Zaro from San Francisco, California. Get a suggestion and take it away. I see Nick's lips moving, but I don't hear any sound, just so he knows. Uh, you hear me now? Yes, now I do. Okay, great. Did you want to get uh, like that? So when you hear sounds, what's the sound that makes you happy? <laughs> Say again. Thimbles. I heard thimbles. Oh, maybe symbols. Thimbles. We'll say symbols and thimbles. Uh, we are team two. Hey, really wanted to say thanks so much for auditioning for band. Um, Did I make it? Did I make it? Hey, uh, it was so great for you to audition. And, uh, we don't need you to audition more. Wait. Are you saying I didn't make it onto the band? I'm doing my best to not be that. <laughs> I don't want to hurt your feelings. But, but I've spent my whole life learning the symbols. I've spent I've spent every hour practically of every day. Wow. Well, that makes this so much harder. Can I do anything? Can I do anything to show you how great I am? Listen, I know that I might not be the best player, but I try so very hard. I really, really want to be in your band, so please, please let me in. I want to be a band player. I want to be in the band. I want to be a band player. I want to be in your band. Understand, I know that you have tried, 
I know that you have worked. Understand, I know that you've worked hard. But if I let you in, I'd be a jerk. You can't be in our band. All you have to do is bang two things together, and you can't, so you can't be in our band. I find something else to do. I can paint the room or shine your shoes. I just want to be with you. I guess we do need ushers. We need people. Rack of uniforms. Perhaps your drive for organization come in handy. And can help with the band. Make it clear that you're not actually in the band. You can help with the band. I can help with the band. You can help with the band. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You won't regret this. Sweet. Welcome aboard. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Mom, um, I don't actually think Dad's coming back home. Yeah, he never liked this man. Dad is just a shining star that went away and disappeared. So it's, it's not like the time that the goldfish went to the farm, but then came back later and somehow it became like a totally different colored fish. Yeah, Mom, tell us the truth, you know, because me and Maria, we are here waiting for that day after day and we, we are tired of these lies. Okay. I... You girls are old enough to know the truth. Tell us, ma'am. I want to go live on a farm. <sighs> yeah, he's running free with all the other dads now. Oh. Because for a minute I thought I was just being rejected outright from, from my no. father, but... No, no. Um, he's not rejecting you, dear. Okay. He's running with the other dads and maybe a couple of other moms. Oh, oh okay, mom. It's like he is taking like an intensive workshop on how to be a dad. And maybe what? one day he will learn. Maybe one day he'll learn. How to be a father to you girls. I can't wait. Maybe one day he'll yeah. learn how to be a husband to me. Crossies. I wouldn't wait until that day. I would learn to be without him. Just because, you know, nothing against you girls. Maybe it's me. At the dad farm. They'll learn how to be nice at the dad farm. They'll learn how to be nice. I can't wait. 
at the dad farm when well, he's at the dad farm I love you girls with all my life we love you mom we love you too girls yes I don't know if I can make it through this without you hope I haven't seen you here before how long have you been on the farm <laughs> I run the dad farm but I keep quiet yeah yeah this, well, this is your second time around here as a dad ain't it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I keep getting sent back. I mean, you can learn your lesson the first time. But I'm going to do better. How long have you been here? Oh. So my dad was born on the dad farm. <laughs> Those people would be wrong. Started this 30 years ago with my own dad. <laughs> right. Dad farmers meant to raise dads to grow and sprout other dads throughout the land. Are you ready to raise yourself as a dad? I'm ready, sir. I could do this. All right. Tell me the three first principles of being a dad <laughs> and sing them to this beat. <laughs> All right, I got this, I got this. I know you do, Dad. Almost can hear it. Number one. You're always right. Number two. Kids stay out of sight. Number three. Everybody listen to me. These are the three things we need to follow to be stronger dads than the ones who came before. That's good. Now, tell you right now. The things you just listed. I'm a lot. The stuff we were all raised up in patriarchy. <laughs> Time to dive deep and stop. Be the dad. Be. Uh, 
connect with your family. Be the dad you can be. That's why you were sent back here. Try again. Send me in. All right, Dad. Time for you to go home. Family, I'm home. <laughs> Family, I'm here. Dad! Dad! Family! Family! Wait, wait. Are you all here? Yeah. Am I missing? This is it? Okay, I thought maybe my, my, that's okay. My brother's not here, but that's okay. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm different. I've changed. Really? I'm sorry, honey. Tina, Mom, okay. I love you. Melissa, Mom. I love you. Janice, oh. I love you. Hmm? Mom, Tina, so please sweet. accept, accept that the excuse is. And I've learned to listen. So I want to hear from all of you what I need to do to make your lives better. Please tell me, what can I do? <laughs> do I want from dad? First, you need to be at home, dad. Second, you need to be a good nurse. You need to be with us as a family. You'll go ahead and go next, honey. Mm. I really want a guinea pig, a guinea pig. A guinea pig. I really want a guinea pig. And all your love and affection and this dark pull inside of me to feel complete. <sighs> Honey. All right. Well, you can buy the kids' affections, but you cannot buy mine. It worked when we were dating. But now that's not fine. I just want you to love me. You want me to love you. Yes, Dad. I want you to love all of us. I will never leave again, Melissa. Here's a guinea pig for you. Oh, thanks, Dad. You'll never leave me. And for you, my dear wife. That's way over time. I've got you a new friend. Here he is. Oh, that works out. Thank you, Daddy's back. Wow, you guys were amazing. Wow, I just can't even say how much. Now, what I am going to do is um, I we are going to listen to watch a sketch. And it is, let me see why I'm not sharing. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, so the sketch we're looking at today is called The Talk. And it is uh, posted here by... Todd Basil, and here we go.
Oh, we can't. My name it. is the sketch. We can't hear anything. I guess I could do some kind of an improv of what they're saying, but I know I think I have to share my sound. Yeah, oh, you might have to stop there sharing. Oh, there you go. Is that, can you hear that now? All right, let's try this. Because I think he had a... Hey, honey, have you uh, talked to him? We're sitting down right now. Like You're sharing your screen, but not the audio. Kim? Honey? Yeah, you need to stop the share, to talk. Laura, and reshare with audio. I can, I can um, hear it. It's just not. The, the audio is on. It's just a little time. low, low. It's low, but you can hear it. I have no idea how to turn up the. It's volume. coming. It's, it's coming through your microphone, not through the audio. Okay, thank you. Let me take off my microphone. Thank you for that. You, you've got to stop the sharing and then restart it again, clicking the button to say share sound. This technical issue is brought to you by soap. Please wash your hands for 20 seconds. Thank you. And warm, warm water. Actually, it doesn't Happy matter. Birthday song. Star Wars. <laughs> Colin, I'm going to disregard you because you started a sentence with actually. Actually. This brought to you by potatoes. Never mind. It seems to be working now. I'm going to shut up. Hey, honey, have you uh, talked to Kim? We're sitting down right now to have the talk. <sighs> Kim? Honey, we need to talk. Okay, Mom. You're at the age where you're becoming a woman and there's some things we should talk about mom the talk now yes honey now sometimes people your age will talk with words that start with the same letter that's called alliteration festive forefathers forklift freight Mom! Gross! Ah! Silly snails slyly stick to straws. <laughs> My Parents playfully pet their perky partners' petite perineums. Ah! Mom! Okay, dear, that was just a mature way for me to tell you that your father and I are about to have sex. All right. I was going to leave the uh, video off. And so now we are about to show team three. So could I have the host of team three? And, and I'm going to request that whoever has their audio on to please mute. All right. Hello. Hi, everybody. I'm sorry. We don't have any music. I'm a, I'm a bad millennial. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. Uh, hi, everybody. Hi, I'm Kristen. Welcome to High Wire Improv. This is our Sunday night, all levels. Uh, all are welcome, Jam. Wait, can uh, I? We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna get a, a Brian. I think I'll ask you for a word, and then we'll uh, sorry. Get twenty minutes, and we're gonna have uh, a super fun time. Uh, we do this every Sunday. I am very confused. Uh, uh, we put up the Zoom info, so you can uh, anyone can join. So if you're watching this and you're like, "Oh my god, that looks like so much fun," I would love. Uh, hello, hello, uh, everybody. Uh, yeah, there are some. 
tech little tech team issues. But three. we are going to know now the team three. Who's on the team three? The second non-musical team of the evening. And so your timekeeper will be Dawn. Dawn, yeah, she's there to inform you when you'll have only two minutes left. She is there working, Dawn. Thank you. And on the team we will have Alex Lee from La Canada. Donovan Santiago from New York, Joe Hammer from Scottsdale, Cassie Ephir from Tucson, also Jess Kent from Omaha, Omaha, we have Faustino Solis, yeah, and also Lena Lodge from Ottawa. Yeah! Good luck, Team 3! Uh, hi, guys! I need to rename myself. If you had a name uh, that wasn't your name, what would it be? Kermit. Uh, suggestion is Kermit. Thank you, Kermit. Thank you. Thank you. It's not easy being sad. Oh. Oh. Yep. Aww. I not easy being sad. It's not easy being blue. You should go green. We should go green. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to form a party and call it the green party and everyone here oh. can go green. No one's going to accept Muppets in the political circle. Remember what happened 10 years ago? Oh. They kicked Big Bird out. Oh, now I'm blue again. Animal no. sad! <laughs> oh, no. Animal. I'll go What's talk wrong? to my friend Fozzie Bear. He's a real waka waka of a time. So these are all Muppets. <laughs> Sweep. <laughs> well, I was hoping uh, to get the frog legs. Are they available tonight? Yes, sir. That's what we would love to have. <laughs> that would be great. I noticed uh, that they've increased almost 80% since the last time I was here. Yeah, yeah. You have a problem with an 80% increase, Douglas? This is the least I mean, I just, I mean, they're frog legs. It's not like they're shipped in from like some faraway land. Yeah, it's our anniversary. Um, He's kind of particular. Yes, we're very particular about, about our, about our, our, our frog legs. I mean, what, what? Don't don't you respect frog legs? Well, Douglas. I, you know, I if you ever if you read my last Yelp review, uh, the last time I got them here, they were still kicking on my plate. You, uh, so so your pr your your problem is cook them longer. Okay. Let's cook them longer. Hey, cook, I, uh, cook, cook I, longer. I'm the chef here, and I understand there's a complaint. About my frog legs. Tell them, oh. tell them, sweetheart, because yeah, I'm not that, getting that anywhere. Oh. Well, oh, my husband's very particular about his frog legs, and the last time we were here, yeah. well, they were half raw, and um, yeah. we didn't want to complain because it was our anniversary. He gave me this beautiful diamond ring. Oh my god, it had like a blue, blue uh, sapphire right around the edge. Oh, it was so amazing. what you're saying oh. basically is that he is upset about the frog legs, but he's expecting you to confront me about the frog legs. Well, well, sure, because, you know, we, we both have beautiful rings on, so he just naturally assumed that we would just bond over the rings, yeah. So he wants you to complain to the yeah. manager who will tell me about the frog legs. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Sure. I just wanted to understand the chain of events here. I, I will tell the manager to tell you yes. to tell him that the frog legs are exactly as they are intended. 
Yeah, and they shouldn't be kicking. I got everybody but Jess. <laughs> so you're going to have to go through the exact same thing because we got multiple orders and have to take one server uh, waitress thing at a time. So explain to me what happened again. Okay, so he told her to tell him to tell me that the frog legs were problematic. And I told him to tell her. Hold on, hold on a second. The person pointing the signs is getting all backwards, so you have to say it one more time. And then okay. you have to do it up and down. <laughs> okay, so he told her to tell him to tell me that the frog legs were a problem, and I told him to tell her to help. I guess tell her. I got everybody but Faustino. I gave you the directions like four times already. <laughs> okay, let me explain it one more time. And I also okay. brought this flag turner to help me interpret it. So Okay. okay, go up on fifth. Where, yeah. Hey, get up here. So we got we go up on oh, fifth. Shit. You have to make a right on Alameda. You go up until you hit Western, and then you get the 105, and you turn all the way up until you get to around Burbank, and then the restaurant's by the airport. Tag out everybody but Faustino. Turn left, up ahead. But I, I got to turn on this. Uh, I forgot to put my subtitles on that are visual. Turn left, now turn around and turn right up ahead. <laughs> you got That's it right. wrong again. Go back. Turn left. Leave Faustino. Faustino. Come back. Oh, I'm driving. <laughs> welcome, welcome to New York City. Howdy. I'm Mayor Michael Bloomberg. Wait, I thought that Faustino <laughs> was the mayor. What? Hold on, let me let me check out my interactive map and try to figure it out. I might have an old map. Tag out Faustino. <laughs> Hi, I'm your dialect coach and advisor. You are one, not the mayor. Two, you don't have that accent, but I'll be happy to work with you. Uh, excuse me, but last time I checked, Mayor Bloomberg can do whatever he wants. Mayor Bloomberg. Car Carol Kane. <laughs> I'm... Carol Kane of the show Taxi. And I <laughs> believe that you are no longer the mayor. Praise, new scene. All right, so we got Carol Kane here. You're a lucky day. You're, all you have to do, no, get back here, Donovan. Oh. All you have to do is just stand there, and Carol Kane's going to work around you. This is our 25th anniversary of that time you did that one sitcom with Carol Kane. All right, and action. Well, I'll be honest. Lloyd Kaufman put me up. I mean, Andy Kaufman put me up to this. Carol. Christopher Lloyd and Andy Kaufman were both wonderful people to work with me on the on the set of Taxi. And not only that, Ellie Kemper on Unbreakable, Kimmy Schmidt. All right, this too much. Me. This too much. Bring in the flag interpreter. All right, and action. Andy anyway. Kaufman, Christopher Lloyd, Danny DeVito, uh, several other people that I can't remember at this moment. Uh, I believe. Uh, Tony Danza? I can't remember anymore. I, I'm 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 I, I'm old now. I don't remember these things. I'm old too. I'm about 87 years old. Because the year is 2022. In the year 2022. <laughs> <laughs> Where did I put my car keys? Hey, sweetie, you left your car oh. keys by the kitchen counter again. You know they're going to end up in the drain. <laughs> hey, mom, I got to go. It's, it, come on, we got to go. We're okay, gonna, okay, okay. Give up. me the keys. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. Driving me crazy. I tell you, it's getting worse and worse around here. Okay. Okay, well, it, bye. It, it, it's prom dress night, Dad. Got to drive the kid to school. Yeah. It's prom? It's prom? Well, it's prom dress night. Yeah, we got to go pick up a prom dress on the way. That's, that's yep. it. Listen, we're not going over $100. Okay. Okay. I, sure. How about how about you get to watch Star Trek tonight and we get her <laughs> a nice dress? I cut to them watching Star Trek at night. And today's episode of Star Trek, Captain Picard and Kirk uh, meet for the second time. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. I haven't seen this before. This is great. Captain's log. Picard, he's bald, but so sexy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
and narrators, right? I'm so, just waiting uh, for Picard to respond. Yeah, yeah. So here's the deal. You know, enough Star Trek. We got to talk about her uh, <clears throat> dress. 500 bucks. Yeah, but we're watching Star Trek. Is Q in this one? You like him. Oh my God, it's the Borg. Oh no. <laughs> and it's. Uh, I'm Deanna what? Troy, and I am here to mediate this discussion. <laughs> Listen, everybody's <laughs> caught up. I'm glad you're here because everybody's caught up in Star Wars, not even thinking stop, about the money stop going out on the Diana dress. Try on the TV, babe. You're talking to the TV again. Uh, tag out everyone but Jess. Uh, uh, Deanna, you just can't pop into people's living rooms l like that to me to to mediate. I, I need you here on, on the bridge. I'm here to mediate um, this discussion. Uh, uh, Thanks, Guinan. The yeah. situation is that I've been told I can no longer mediate, just yes. like you're doing. Oh, she's 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 upset because she can't mediate anymore. I I I I'm right here. I heard, Deanna. I heard what you just said. I just said I just said you just can't go into other people's living rooms. I need you here on the bridge. I mean, what if we get a red alert like any minute now? No, red yeah, alert, he, red alert. Very, no, like right now. He's very confused. Here yeah, on the bridge, alert. there's a red okay. alert. What am I supposed yeah. to do? I can mediate. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, exa exactly, you're supposed to mediate. I just, I I need you here, at the end, I just need you here, just not in other people's, going to the other, beaming down to other people's living rooms and mediate people's family issues. He, he everyone, everyone here. on deck C, please evacuate to someone's living room right now. Oh, God. Wait a minute, it's so. me, Lieutenant Worf. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Wait, what? Worf, what was it? I was about to beam down to, like, this. Listen, I miss... <laughs> all I need is help with somebody on this dress issue. Oh, hi, oh I'm Worf. We're up to $500 on a dress, and everybody's uh, talking Star Wars. And oh, you know I what? thought we were talking Star Trek. Same no. thing. It doesn't matter. You know what? I didn't. I used to shop for Klingon dresses for my daughter, Ugnag Ching Awa. Ah. Oh, at what price, at was, what price point? Oh, that was a dress. Klingon hey, bar. that was a Trump. You're spending too much money. It's a Trump. A Trump? Sweet. I got to get out of <laughs> Hey. Hey. Um, did, um, uh, I'm, I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? Hey, are you guys having fun at the prom? This is really fun, isn't it? This prom is amazing. Yeah. Have you, have you met my <laughs> robot boyfriend? Oh, Eric? Sure. You're lucky you have a, a robot boyfriend. I, I, I didn't have a date, so I came with my friends. <laughs> friends cool. are an interesting concept. You should embrace them. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, em I'll embrace them. I, I apologize. Uh, it needs an adjustment. Let me go ahead and adjust. Uh, oh. One moment. It's uh, oh. okay. acting a little okay. just too common for a prom. Let me adjust. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay, there you go. Try now. I am no longer common. I am uncommon. I can use inflection now. Oh, I, I, I like how your mustache disappeared. That it's very dapper. Thank you. I am quite dapper. Can you hey, uh, can you hold my hand? Oh, maybe maybe you can hold uh, my that, hand. That too. that'll that'll require another adjustment to still. Oh, you know. oh. Okay, there you go. You're good oh. now. Robot, I see it. You're sad. We need to make sure that you're fully understood. So I brought your robot interpreter. Oh no! To make sure that your feelings of of sadness are interpreted. The robot, the robot's hands are warm. It's it's nice. I am on We Two Thousand. Oh no! You you're not sad to be at the prom with me, are you? Absolutely not. This is actually alleviating my sadness. Sorry, I forgot to set it so it's interpretive dance mode. Oh yeah, 
Yeah. Hey, robot, you want to go dance? This will be fun. I'll take it over and leave Alex. <laughs> <laughs> well, howdy, neighbor. Uh, Ned no, Flanders no, here, no. and I, I'm glad you took your day off from work to come to drink coffee with me. Oh, you still do your job even when you're not working. Well, hi to ho, neighbor. I would love for you to interpret what my son is trying to tell me. Animal! Sir! Come to love! Come here and SAT! Three! That's my son. A Dad, bike. love you, animal does! I don't know Wait a I'm... second. I know you. You're Bloomberg. That's right. And I wouldn't have gotten away with it if it weren't for Captain <laughs> Picard. Is the one here anymore? Shazam, Dano, snap. Ah! <laughs> hey, that was three quarters of the scene. It should have only been half. I'm like, that's time. Scene. <laughs> 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 Amazing, a little confusing, and a lot of fun. <laughs> all right, now now's the time to let you in on all of our interesting offerings here at Inner City. So, what do we have on the menu? I thought we have another menu here. All right, so you, this is where you are. You are here on Saturday mornings. We have toast and jam at 10 a.m. It's very low key. It's a great way to do improv. It's not, you're not gonna, we're not live streaming it. So you have a perfectly mellow opportunity to improve yourself. Monday nights, we have open mic. You can do whatever you want. This is your five minutes of glory and fame. You can come um, sign up on February 22nd tomorrow. So, uh, no, that's wrong. Wow, someone needs to change that. Uh, <laughs> So that was bi-weekly, so it's going to be next Monday, not tomorrow. But if you're looking for immediate gratification, on Tuesday, March 2nd, which is this upcoming Tuesday, we have the Short Form Jam, and hosted by ah, someone famous, famous. So I really suggest you come. It's a lot of fun. It's a great way to play around with your fellow improvisers and enjoy the night. Uh, we have a musical improv jam bi-weekly. So the last one was, uh, I'm gonna look at my calendar 28th. So then, so, oh, here we go, right here. All the dates right here. Mark those on your calendar. Uh, a good way to get better information is go to our site and then you can have all this information in a detailed fashion. We have a festival coming up. So this is gonna mark our one year anniversary. And we're very proud of being here for a whole year and getting to know each other and, and having this wonderful space to improvise. So please come to our festival. We are not taking any more submissions. We are filled. So we have a lot of interest in this. So um, that is it. We've already discussed our Etsy, our Etsy shop. And please join our community. So you can join us on Facebook and you can like us on YouTube. Um, so the the meeting is, the jam is free, but we're asking you for your total devotion. That's all we want. Thank you. And also, um, we always, and I think I'm going to do this later on. So I'm going to stop that right now. And I am going to call up our team four host. So could you please come on? There she is, Jess. Hello. I am the host for team four. And I'm all and we are being animal bombed. Okay, our timekeeper for team four will be Alex. Holding the time, keeping it as if safely. And our team members are David S, Michael A, Brian S, Nelson Morgan, and Janice Matias. Thank you very much, team four. Get yourself a suggestion and take it away. Hi, we're team four. 
What's something that you happen to have four of right now? No more, no less. Final Fantasy video games. Oh, okay. Final Fantasy video games. Final, Final Fantasy. Are you gonna take it? Are we gonna take it? Well, yep, and we can do whatever we want with it. That's how this oh, works. Let's Thank go. you. So, um, you've returned these games every Monday, and uh, you be re- then return mm-hmm. again every Friday. Yes. You return to Monday. Yes, I play them on the weekends. I don't have the money to play them during the week. I do have a spe- I have a special request though. Yeah, okay. Uh these are cartridge based games with the battery backup. Can you not rent them during the week so I don't lose my progress? Um I uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh luckily no one else comes in for it. I mean, <sighs> they are an old game system. You're you're paying at least f- Fifteen to twenty dollars every weekend for this. Yep. And honestly, I sell it here, and and I sell it here, mm-hmm. and it, it it says like twenty dollars on it. I'll like give it to you for like ten. You don't have oh, to keep doing it. I don't know. Ten dollars at once. Yeah. Do you do you understand the concept of more versus less? I, I, that, that's a, that, sorry, that, 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 that question is totally out of line. Of course you do. Um, but you're really just, you're not, it's not economically feasible. Not gonna, it's not gonna do. It's not economically feasible. Renting a game you could own for half. It's not feasible. Not feasible. Not feasible. I'm just a kid with three paper routes. I don't know what economics are all about. I just want my fighters to exist from week to week. Ten dollars is a lot to seek. Not economically feasible. Not economically feasible. For a kid like me, not economically feasible. Compare 10 with 20. It's not hard to compare 10 with 20. Which is more? Which is less? Here's what's more. Which repeats weekly? And which only will happen once? Oh. I am so tired of being in this game. I know. I just... uh, Every week, we just... We walk off the save point. We go fight a boss. We get defeated again. Then we get brought back to do it all over again. You know, I have not been rested since my brand came out, Nintendo. I think I'm a Nintendo. We've been on all the systems. Nintendo, PlayStation, every one of them, though. Just use! I hate it when they miss make a mistake and they make me do it over and over and over it's like the youth who are there now Just turn on turn back off um, i hate I, to tell you this but what am i, I found out to? oh sorry i just i i need you to know i found out they're doing doing another final fantasy 7. we're gonna have to do this all over again Eris, I can't lose you again. Listen, this could be a program that's going to be like a, a virus or a worm. I'm not going to just let you in by saying yes. No, I don't expect you to, but I'm with you. We need to be the virus and get out of this game. I think I'm starting to feel something here. 
Let me think about it for a moment. I forgot where I was when you started to talk to me. I've been in this program, can't tell you the year, just being used, played again, over again. We've been here since 97. We've traveled from Midgar and into all sevens. Because you mean 7-Eleven? No, 11's a different one. Oh. But you know, I would ride across the world for you. Oh. 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 Is this an addition? An updated program. This is a remake. We're back again. My heart, if I had one, is beating for you. It's impossible that uh, I can be stopped being used. Billy left his game on again. Oh, it's so much. Wait a minute. I got to turn this off. I'm up working. His this mom game. is worse than Sephiroth. Unplug. Um, I'm not accusing you, but I went through uh, the old electronics drawer, could not find my iPod. And you're thinking that I took your iPod? I'm saying, I'm not saying you didn't. Well, you're not saying, okay, but you're saying that there's a possibility that I took your iPod. Why would I want your iPod? Uh, because it was the limited edition U2 iPod, the one with the red wheel. Well, okay, it is, and, and I could have made some money off that, but I don't need the money to sell it or anything. And... I have artificial intelligence that honey, honey. Replaces, replaces that completely. Yeah? Yeah. I hope you took those pictures of me off of that phone, okay? We just were having fun. Oh, oh, that was directed at you. <laughs> uh, did, did you take my iPod pod and put pictures of you and mom on it? <laughs> no. You, you know, know it is... that I don't use an iPod. That's the... That's archaic. You know, eighth generation iPod Touch is pretty well. Okay. I feel like we're having a disconnect here. Just. Generational differences. Generational differences. From one generation to the other, generational differences. Generational differences. I like the tech that I've got. It's a lot newer than what you're used to. It's kind of hot. Why do we have to deal with those generational differences? You be you, and I'll be me, and it will set us free. Generational differences. I've got my stuff. You've got yours. Generational differences. I'll keep my stuff. You keep yours. That's the generational difference of us <laughs> uh, honey i'm s sorry for the um sorry for the um i had a little pre little creative time and i paint my bag blue but i'll change the color we really got to talk well y you have all the time in the world that you've got both of my ears tell me what's up oh i have all the time in the world okay yeah you do 
and and I'm just saying, I'm just saying ears. to you, I was yelling and I was saying to you, I need my phone. I'm going out with the girls tonight, so I need to call them. Well, here, take your phone. You can. You always leave it in the room, and then you accuse honey, me. Of I, okay, honey. We have the same phone. Mine's is pink. Yours is blue. This is a blue phone. Well, here. Now, Take don't tell me you lost my phone or misplaced it, okay? No. Uh, no. I, well, I may have. Remember, my, I'm colorblind. I can't tell the difference between pink and blue. <sighs> okay. Okay. You know what? We're together not because of your eyesight, okay? Okay. I'm going out with the girls. Um, I wanted to have know fun. if you'd like to come along. Uh, no, it's phone. girls' night. It's girls' night out. But you so, so much fun with me. So why don't you go out with the girls tonight? Have fun and see all the sights. Have fun with the girls tonight. But be careful of what you say. I'd rather be out with you. But you know when the girls get together, we kind of forget about you all. Oh. Listen, honey. I'm listening. It's okay if you forget about me. Ooh. Just have fun with your fridge. You can always come back to me. That's Enjoy why I love fun. you. See, baby, you let me be me. That's why I always come back to you. Ooh. And that's what I love most about you is Girls' Night leads to date night. I hear what you're saying. Oh, baby, I'm going out with the girls and I'm gonna have a good time. Girls like me Girls night. Late night. night. That's why I love you. Bye, honey. I'll mm -hmm. see you about next um, couple hours. See you, honey. Have a great night. Weep. You know, I gotta say, I was hesitant about this next generation console at first, but, you know, I'm kind of digging it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what's with what's with oh. the hair though? Well, this is I how all to... of us. This is how I've been since '97, man. So this is what Square wanted me to look like. Oh, that's hey, oh, you know what y'all talking about? His hey, hair. Oh, yeah. this is oh, this is uh, this is Sid. Yo, man, yeah. what's wrong with your hair? Yeah, I know. I it's how the game designers made me. I'm sorry. It was, it was oh, better man. when it was 8-bit. It was better no. when it was 8-bit. You, you don't have no choice when the creator yeah. makes you. No. Yeah. Look at oh. me. I'm in this outfit yeah. for the... What, what do you know of a girl being the same outfit for how long? Yeah. Look at me. Look at me. I was a Game Boy game. I mean, I'm just grayscale. And that's original, oh. not even color. And, oh. and look at me. I would love to have hair like you, but look what I ended up with. Oh, man. They, 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 they really did a job Good on look. you. I mean, it's tough. You, you, you look like someone I wouldn't want to mess with. Oh. You know, we should have our own rights to be. We talk to each other. Why nope. can't we talk to them? Technology was better in the old days. Absolutely. Yeah, but we only went you. around in circles. I, look, I have so many polygons. This way. Old technology is better. Old technology rules. Old technology is taking over. Well, what's the matter with him? I gotta say, oh, I like it I got... in a new way. 
I can use my attacks and it looks so much more epic. And that's why I think there's no going back. The future is here to stay. I think they put a bug in here. I think they put a bug in here. There's a bug? Where? Hey, I... Oh, wait, I got it. It's glitching me. I got it. I'm affected. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Patch it. Oh. Please remember oh. me when the patch comes oh. out. Go, go, go. Somebody shoot some electricity over there. Your hair is turning. And scene. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I'd like to have a hey band, and they were back giving us music for our sets. And let's Woo! Go and just turn on your audio and give them a big cheer. Band, 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 band. Woo! Woo! I was yeah. it. I was band it. Yeah. Thank you, band. All right. And at this point, what I'd like to do is to encourage anybody who has something that's coming up that they would like to share with us to come up on screen and I'll call you up one by one to, you could all come on now or however you want to do it. And uh, so I'll start with Donovan. What have you got going on? Hey, how's it going? Uh, thanks again for a uh, great jam as always. Uh, on March 6th at 8 p.m. Eastern, live on Honey Bunny Improv, you can watch my old wrestling promos, a stage reading. There's lots of actors uh, from multiple jams across the years, well, this year, and uh, it's going to be fun. So come watch uh, 122 pages that I wrote when I was 15, read by actors. Uh, so it's, yeah, that's all I got to say. I'll post it in the uh, Zoom chat and the Thank Facebook you. group. Fantastic. Thanks, Brian. Yeah. So unfortunately, if you're interested in doing something different at that exact same time, on March 6th at 7 Central, which is unfortunately 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, my Improvised Shakespeare team is doing a show next Saturday. I don't have an event for it yet because we're bad about getting up the event ahead of time, but uh, it should be on Zoom and then the Facebook page for Westside Improv and our Unwritten Works of William Shakespeare page. So Great. Time to buy a second monitor and computer and everything else. Thank you, Jess. Every second and fourth Tuesday of every month is Roll the Dice at Big Canvas. You can reach that at uh, bit.ly slash Big Canvas YT for YouTube, Big Canvas YT. Okay, make sure you put that in the chat. Michael. Oh no, the band wants your, oh no, okay, I win. Uh, first of all, here's my iPod, no dirty pictures, uh, but there is an improv organization you may or may not have heard of, and it doesn't matter, called Camp Improv Utopia. They just had a short form jam this past Saturday. Alex and I ran it. And there's one coming up on Saturday, the, uh, uh, this past Saturday, yesterday. There's one coming up on Saturday, March 27th at noon Pacific. That way it's Europe friendly as well. Uh, it'll be hosted by different people, but you don't even have to be part of that organization. I just recommend you check it out because it is a really loving community. So Camp Improv Utopia Jam City is what it's called. Thanks, Michael and Don. Uh, last Friday, my uh, local improv team, Premature Punchline, did our very first Zoom Prov, and we have it now streaming on YouTube. If anybody wants to give it a check out and see and like and subscribe. Thank you. Great, thanks. And everybody put this in the chat. Anke. Hi, hello everybody. So I'm part of a, team, a troupe called The Professionals, and we always have a 30-minute um, show on Mondays uh, from 7 p.m. Eastern until half past 7 p.m. Eastern, and it's on the Facebook page, Socially Distant Impro. Thanks, Anke. Thank you. And uh, yeah, so I'm here in Portland, Oregon, uh, where at Curious Comedy, we host Open Court every Wednesday night at 9.30 Pacific. You can log in around 9.15, and we'll be there to chat and check in. You get to warm up with a coach, and then each team does their own style of jam, and it's a lot of fun. Check it out. Hey, it is fun. I've been there. Thanks, Nick. 
And I saw, oh, they, there we go, Joe. Hello, hello. Hey, great job, great jam tonight. I'm here to promote a little book I wrote called The Improv Edge. It's about how to use improv in your everyday life as opposed to just on stage. And you can check it out. It's on Amazon, or you can go to the improvedgebook.com for full details. Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. You, you guys want something, man? Yeah. <laughs> Taglines! Tag Check out my Facebook page! Yes. They are, they are putting them on the chat. Make sure you put them. Yeah, not only in the chat, but put them onto our Facebook page. We do. No, like my, no I'm teaching a work, workshop for taglines next Sunday. Okay. <laughs> workshop for taglines! We'll watch out for them. Ah. <laughs> I, I believe I can translate Shouty Faustino speak. Thanks. Next Sunday, he is teaching a musical improv workshop about taglines. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for the translation. I wasn't quite sure what was going on there. Um, okay, fantastic. Yeah, I definitely, he, he has some great workshops going on. So I would check that out and go. Uh, so every, anybody can do musical improv. You don't need to be a good singer. And um, Faustina will make you one if you're not. All right, so now uh, before we go on to our headliner, I would like to thank all of the volunteers who have made this night possible. So could you all pop up your Thanks cameras? The camera. Thanks for the camera. All volunteers and our amazing band. Thank you. Woo! That was so much fun. Woo! Band. And thank you for all your hard work. And at this point, I'm back last evening, uh, here, the thing we've never done before. Hi, Janice, did you want to promote? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> at this point in our evening, we have our very special troupe to introduce to you. And so I'd like to call up two members of that troupe or the <laughs> two. <laughs> Uh, so please come on up, Simprov. Woo! So, hello, hello, hello. My name is Rich. Uh, hi, my name is Rich. I'm from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And this is my special guest, Angus. Hey, I'm Angus. I'm also from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And uh, we do a show, uh, um, I do a show called Simprov, which is a, um, a game, it is an improvised show based around a game of The Sims, an actual game of The Sims. Um, and we are going to be voicing uh, Sims as they just do whatever they feel like doing. And we're going to give them voices and we're going to talk about their story. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the entire show. Uh, it's just like, you know, when they cry, we're going to tell you why they're crying and all that kind of fun stuff. You're going to love it. Uh, Angus uh, has been a guest on the show before. That's right. Um, and actually, let's just um, get this going. Yeah, uh, last time I was on the show, I played a character named Chip Gunderson, who was uh, a very thinly veiled, uh, clearly uh, an escaped convict, who was now a roommate with uh, uh, Rich's character. Yeah, and my character's name is Jimothy Simprov. Uh, and I've been living in a house with a bunch of different roommates um for like i don't know maybe a few days now and i just keep, i can't i can't keep someone as a roommate this entire time but uh apparently chip has come back for some reason or another and i'm sure that we are gonna find out why sooner or later uh so without further ado uh welcome to simprov Woo! Uh, hey, Chip. Uh, thank you so much for. Oh, hey, man. yeah. Hey, Let's get in there, buddy. Uh, yeah, it's good to see you. It's oh, been a couple days. Scare there. <laughs> okay, yeah. Don't scare me like that. Yeah. Uh, I like what you've done with the place. It, uh, oh, thank you. It yeah, bigger. It, it's, it's a bit bigger. Yeah, it's a bit yeah. bigger. Um, uh, I don't know uh, exactly how that happened, but you know, like, hey, it's bigger. We got a back porch now. It's great. Wow. Well, uh, you know, coming from, uh, you know, I'm going to own up having lived in a, uh, a prison cell for a few years. Um, this is much better. I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. I'm back. Leave me alone, Morgan. I don't want to join the renegades. Leave Sorry. us alone, Morgan. We're having a moment. 
Oh, whoa, are you, are you okay, bud? Are you okay? Sorry, you sorry. It's just, I'm, I'm trying to open up to you. I'm trying to, you know, and this Morgan person who I don't even know come, comes in and they're all like smartphones, you know, they call yeah. you. I was oh. going to go while we're talking. I was going to oh, okay. remember this game pad that you just like put in yeah. and left here. Sure. Like, I've been playing it a lot. You're going right. to, you're going to play it right now while I'm, I'm going to play it right now. Oh man, look at this. It's, 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 it's soccer balls, but well, yeah, I, no, I, keep, keep, keep telling me about, um, okay. So you're just, in it's... prison. Yeah. I was, I'm just kind of, I was kind of bearing my soul to you and now you're playing a, a game. Um, well, you know what? I'm going to no, sit, uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna sit in the bear I'll chair. Stop. No, no, I'll it's stop. okay. I'll no, sit no, in the no, bear no, chair no. watching TV. Talk. We can chit chat. Oh man. Um, but like, uh, no, uh, uh, I got a job. Oh, great. Where yeah. are you working? I make, I make little, uh, those little triangle f- flags for, uh, for sports games. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. I love those things. Yeah. yeah. Those are great. Like, um, uh, Hey, is this I, a real I, bear? The one that you're sitting in? Uh, yeah. I don't think so. I, okay. I, I don't think it used to be a bear. You know, right. like, um, I don't think it's going like, to come alive or anything like that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. I, um, I mean, I, you scared me earlier. I hope it's not actually going to Yeah, alive, no. Because right? I got well, a basketball it, game later. And... Oh, um, here? Yeah, I was, I mean, this flooring kind of looks like a basketball. Is that cool? It, I know, uh, I'm, it's uh, my first day back. I figured... A twelve on twelve basketball game would be okay. You know, you know, twenty four people. I know twenty three people. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. yours, tr- yours truly. You know, I'm okay. watching uh, baseball too. Probably we're all probably play some baseball in the backyard. Yeah, can, can I play or like? Because like, look, look how good I am at playing this like this random video game that you left here the first time you were here. You I know, mean, I'm not in. Look, the look I have a football. Yeah, I'm not really in the machine. Baseball. So I kind of just see you flailing around, but good, I'm gonna guess good form. Yeah, look, look at me go. Like, uh, everything's go. Oh, oh, oh. Did you just break the TV? Did I break the TV? What? <laughs> no, I... <laughs> Maybe. It was looking at me funny. Oh, Sorry. man. Old... Like that, that, that TV looks really I'm out of here. I'm leaving. No, don't leave. Where good are you going? day, sir. What? I, I said I'm good sorry. day. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Like, it's just, you know, I, 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 did, I wanted to know, like... No, you know. I belong here. This is my new home. I'm, don't getting, get the, I'm don't, getting inside. This is where I belong. Don't I'm, get in the dumpster. Okay, fine, fine. I won't get in. You're not even going to come out of the VR machine. I'm, I, 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 I'm I, I have a pretty de- decent idea of what you're doing out there. You know, just What like, is it you think I'm doing? Jim well, I, I think that you're like hanging out near the dumpster. And it's it's kind of uh, like, you know, like it's a it's a nice dumpster i guess but like i don't know like, it's a it damn doesn't... fine du- it, it's a very nice dust dumpster. You, know, you like it like yeah, yeah I, uh, I, it was here when i moved in like uh, really yeah every everything like you know pretty much everything in my apartment has either been here when i moved in or like one of my roommates just left here for no particular reason now i've been in prison for a long time but i don't think that's how houses normally work what people just don't like wait you're telling me that you don't oh. move in get multiple roommates and then just like you know uh they leave and they leave guitars and cupcake machines and tiki bars behind yeah i don't think that's normal this little table this is very nice oh thank you that was uh, probably just eat this baseball whatever that is that's a that's a muffin that's a oh it's a muffin okay well Uh, it's very tasty uh, like like one of my other roommates just kind of left that there they made that and then they just kind of like you know they, Prison was like, rough. I had to eat baseballs to survive. So, you know. Just, oh, no. What well, it's got that, like? le- you know, leather. So you can just kind of get some nutrients out of that, you know. Yeah. Oh, man. So, like, that... still in that VR machine. Okay. It's 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 intense. Look at how my game, like, look at how much I am flailing around. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, it is intense. Like, I'm feeling so, like, good about my life right now. Do you get sweaty doing that in a denim jacket? I, I get so sweaty. Like, yeah. you know, like, you'd think I would change out of it, but no, I'm just going to, like, yeah. I'm, I'm going to play with my denim jacket on, yeah. you know, um, talking to you at the same time, not looking cool. at you, you know. Cool if I carve my name into this table. Uh, I, Too late. I, <laughs> oh, no. Wild card. Yeah. All right, now I've got my. Oh, I got a phone. Didn't tell you about that. I got a phone, and oh. now I'm eating a sausage. I think. Did you get that from the dumpster? Yes. No. Oh no, I no. didn't. I didn't get this from the dumpster. No. Oh, okay. Are you sure? Because like, like I, I, I mean, like I see like the neighbors sometimes like throw like yeah like, like fully cooked things uh-huh. out, out in there. But like, what times do they normally do that? Uh, 
look, my job. Oh no, was... I broke the I broke the, 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 the VR machine too. What? Oh no, I you didn't even get to play it. I stole that for you. What? As a you thank told... you for letting me crash here. You stole that from me? Of course I did. Oh boy, I guess I'm just like I guess we're just gonna have to like toss some... one another, like uh... <laughs> Yeah, there's no distractions now. Well, do you want some of my garbage? I mean, sausage? Uh, uh, oh, too oh, late. I like, ate it all. Oh, nom, okay. nom, 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 it nom, looks nom. like you finished that. Okay. Sorry. Um, Survival of the fittest, you know? It didn't look very good. Like It didn't taste very good, but, you know, you got to do uh, what you got to do. I'm just going to, like... Uh, <laughs> what is, I, what is oh, this, this giant? <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. This machine right here, this is a cupcake-making <laughs> machine. It's a cupcake-making machine? Why does yeah. it need to be so big? Um, uh, I'm not sure. Here, I'm just gonna pick up your plates for you. Thank you. Um, wow, but, you know, service. Like, uh, yeah, just like you know, like like you know how cupcakes are very small and delicate. You need a very large, um, obtrusive mm. machine to take care of them. Yeah, this looks like the machine we use to make license plates in prison. Oh wow! Like yeah, industrial. Yeah, like I, I like. What's prison like, man? Is it like like because like I've never I've never been. Not a lot of CDs. Okay. Not a lot of CDs. Oh, um, hey, hey. Bit of dancing. You, you just no, kind of yeah. dance to your own rhythm, you know? Yeah, like, uh, uh, man, I like maybe I should go to prison. You know, really? like I feel like, like I feel like, like I, I got nothing going on here. Like Jimothy. Oh, blank, blank. Leave me alone. Leave us alone, blank. Sorry. I'm just gonna go over here and I'm gonna like uh, clean up this chili that apparently like was just like on the counter, you know. You know how you do. I mean, I guess I don't, but you know, counter chili sounds good. Not as good as dumpster sausage, but yeah. Well, <sighs> a lot of a lot of empty counter. Oh, hey, there, hey, know? hey, oh. bud! You don't don't get mad about it. You know, it, it's. I, fine. I am frustrated. Okay, I wasn't told about the chili before it went bad, and I would have loved to eat it. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, it's I, whatever. It's fine now. Who cares? Okay, okay. Oh, well. Either, I but... am done with you. We're done. Oh no! Yeah. Why? What did I don't I do? want to be a roommate anymore. What did well, you like, do? Yeah. What did I do? I I just living here. Like I mean, like you know, there's no flies. You know. Okay. Like, there are I, no like, flies. You are right. That's like, a plus. I don't, I don't know. Oh, like don't get mad. Like don't I'm get mad. Like, whoa, I'm trying hey, not to get mad at you, but. I I'm actually I am, reversed I am the fly thing. so angry right now what? because you're just like like you're like you know you come in you know <laughs> you 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 come in you 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 tell me that you've been to prison you mm -hmm. you, you lied to me for I a was time. Right honest here, like, with you this time though oh boy I'm just gonna like oh man I'm just gonna I, I, it looks I, like we're just gonna stand here and be mad yeah, at we're just gonna other. stand it here because there's nothing like oh. you broke my TV I'm gonna go outside Look, right don't now. stomp away from me like that I'm calling a train a train i think so that's what it I'm looks gonna like stamp, stamp stomp over here and i'm just gonna like oh i'm gonna kick over this trash can wow yeah. Tim look, at Timothy. Look, look at me wow. oh no, no I, you know sad. what i was wrong i said you wouldn't make no. it in prison i thought no. you wouldn't make it in prison but you just faced aggression with aggression and yeah. that's the only way to survive i'm, I'm really are you going to bed now, now? are you tired you know, no, I'm just gonna cry in bed for a bit. Like, okay, um, it's hey, like I, I, I didn't intend to kick over that trash can, but uh, well, you know, um, now, now it's kicked over. Going outside, I think. Yep, going outside. Probably just gonna, you know. Oh, oh, get, get on, get in on this. Ah, la, 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 la. What are you doing? Are you done? Are you Nothing. dancing in trash right now? No, no. How could you tell I'm dancing in trash? No, I'm not. Oh man, like I'm just gonna not like... dancing in trash. I'm jumping on garbage. Oh, okay, it's different. that's different. Yeah, I'm just gonna like have like a glass of water, you know, just like hang out. Like, oh man, I'm not even. Gonna I'm, I'm, I'm so I'm sorry I got mad. I'm sorry I got mad. You know, like it's been I, I, there's been weird funk. I broke the TV. You broke the VR machine. Let's just let's just let bygones be got bygones. You know. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Like I, I don't want I don't want you to be, like you know I don't want you to move out again. Can you like, just you stop? Know? doing that thing with your mouth while wow. oh let's hug it yeah, out let's yeah. hug it out buddy look at we this. made look it at... up we Two made up we're good. look at look us oh so, like when, uh... when, you, when the tv when the tv's broken and like the and the dance pad and, the, and like the game pad's broken there's like nothing really to do oh uh, it's oh oh there's also like a, a, a spill of water on the ground i don't know what that's from 
Uh, it's getting in my flip-flops. Uh, oh. I can feel it on my toes. Uh, don't just stand in it. Yeah, well, I mean, like, is it you know, raining? Like, I, I, is it rain? I, I, I don't know. I think it's just garbage. I think it's just garbage water on the ground, you know, like, you know, like, it, like, hey, maybe it's like an art project, you know, like maybe, hey, maybe, oh. this, is, maybe this is art. Maybe the, I don't know what art is. This you is know? good art. I've I been in prison so. for so long. I don't know what art is. This is good art. I'm going to grab another glass of water right now. This like, is uh, making me think about aliens and expanding my mind about the universe. Each droplet of spilled water is in itself a constellation with its own chip inside of it. And he is insignificant and small, like me. Oh, hey. Yeah, just like, let's just like. Or like you. We're just oh. two specks flying in the cosmic breeze. Or it's just a pile of water. Or is is there another now one? there's another pile of water. Don't know where that second one came from. Is is there some kind of poltergeist here? I don't know. Like it's uh, like uh, uh, I don't even know like do you, how I would. Do you have to go to the bathroom? Yeah, I do have to go to the bathroom <laughs> real bad. Am I'm I gonna, standing I'm in gonna, the way? Yeah, I'm in a little way, bit. I'm, I'm just well, like, I'm uh, not gonna move. So okay. I <laughs> I think I'm just gonna stand here. That's fine. okay. Just stand this in the doorway. Normal. This is like, okay. Yeah, this, this is, is great. This is what roommates do. Yeah, we just kind of stand around and get in each other's way all the time. You know, that's mm -hmm. how roommates do. I've had roommates. I've had roommates. I've had so many roommates. You have? Yeah. It's great. Yeah. I love I, hope... I love I love how many like 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 I love I love I love having you back, man. Like I kind of missed you. I missed you around. Like you were like my second roommate, you know? It's like... good to be back. I lived on a llama farm for the few days I haven't been here, and those things bite and spit. I... I'm just going to keep kick. drinking water, you know? Like I, I don't know if that's a good idea. It's all over the floor. You've already gone to the bathroom. I just, I think you're hydrated enough, man. I don't want to go to the Spice Festival. He doesn't want to go to the Spice Festival, Joe! Okay. I'm just going to go for a walk. Everyone just keeps calling me today. Like, I'm just like, oh, man, like, now there's three things of water on the ground. I can't hear you. I'm gone. Somewhere. I don't know. Oh, back in the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got? What do we got in here? Hope something good. What did I find? I found... Valerian root. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is good. This is good for making toilet wine. Oh, cool. Yeah, do you like wine? Uh, I, I, uh, have I ever had wine? Have you ever had toilet wine? I don't know. I, I'm not I don't know? I'm not much of a connoisseur, you know? Okay. Okay, well, we don't have to have toilet wine if you don't want to. Oh, okay. If you want to make it, that's cool, too. No, like, no, I mean, I mean, I toilet, I want to be. I want to be accommodating for you, you know? Look, like. I want to thank you for the cupcake, okay? Okay. It's a good cupcake. There's and a machine. You can go, like, I think that, like, I think, like, you know, like, like, the machine's there. You can, like, go, oh, don't yell at me. I am mad because the machine reminds me of s bad stuff it reminds me make, of license gonna, plates I'm, i was gonna make i was gonna make some food instead i'm gonna go drink some more water um you can also like uh, uh what is with you and water i'm so dehydrated you are not just don't tell me how dehydrated i am like you don't know how dehydrated look man I am. You, you didn't even okay you didn't are you showing off you didn't even reuse your glass no i'm gonna have multiple glasses of water well i'm going to <laughs> Bowling pin? Yeah, I'm out of here. Probably going back to the dumpster now that I think about it. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm gonna jump on the garbage? Eh, why not? <laughs> All right, here we go. This is good exercise. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Uh, are, are, are you? Are you? Really um, works the demons out. Are you? Are you dancing on the, on the garbage? Like what? Uh, no. Would that be bad if I was? Uh, I don't. I don't even know how to reference that because, like, I, I'm not sure. Like, I, I mean, you just wore the same. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna like, keep spilling water on the ground. Oh, oh, cool! You're gonna play the guitar. Yeah, you know, I wrote a few songs inside and just wanted to sh share them with you. Okay, you got. You got. <laughs> do <Yeah>. you wanna... <laughs> Prison sucks. Prison sucks. Don't do crimes. I'm gonna drink some more water. <laughs> don't drink more water while I'm singing. What is with you in this? J Timothy, I'm really worried about you, my dude. Dude, hydration is important. Also, th this guitar sounds terrible. This is definitely oh, not my I, fault. I, this I, is I, a bad guitar. 
okay well i i don't know like maybe it's like maybe just like you know like hey maybe just play better like maybe get get, get good you know I, what i mean there are now four piles of water on the ground there's five piles of water on the ground now. Five. Like, <laughs> they're just i, I don't I know where all this water's coming from there has to be a leak okay and i'm not gonna stop playing till i get this thing tuned okay okay prison sucks prison sucks i'm gonna get another it's glass of water bad. holy are you serious don't gonna, do this what is I'm wrong gonna, with you i'm not gonna use the same glass i'm just gonna keep getting water i am so dehydrated i i, I have uh, like, like something's wrong what what do you think's wrong do you, i what? don't know i'm putting this down we got to talk this out because you have had what five glasses of water in the last seven now three this minutes seven, seven glasses of water and you're spilling a lot of it yeah i don't know i think i have to go to the washroom again like I think, yeah i think you do i just i'm worried about you my dude i'm okay, worried i'm sorry i'm I mean, sorry what's the, like, wait what's happening here what's like, going on? Uh, like yeah I, it's you want it's gross in here this it's is gross. garbage here like this is this is a gross time because like you know like everything's broken. There's water all over the ground. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Like grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. You know. Like. Sorry. Maybe I'm just not ready to have my own place. You know. Like. Well, like I don't know. Like I, like it, like usually things are good, but then it's just like oh man, like I'm like everything's broken. I'm gonna go to the washroom again. Like. Yeah. You just keep playing. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'm gonna play another song. <clears throat> This one's called the Cell Block Blues. Once I was a prisoner in Cell Block 32, I was a bad man. It's all they could do. I'm gonna have another glass of water. Don't. Okay, I'm done playing. If you have another glass of water, I am leaving. Don't leave. No, I, I'm I, done. I, you haven't listened to one of my songs. Uh, I, I heard, I, I heard both of your songs. Yeah. What was yeah, the first one? Uh, prison sucks. Okay. All right. Okay. I guess you were listening. And the other one was uh, cell block, the cell block blues, which I yeah, thought was okay. Like, Thank you. I'm just gonna what? go just. Uh, just gonna clean up some dishes here, it's starting you know, to like. sound a bit better i think i'm getting this thing too yeah you, you got you got it man like you like know halfway like that, there you're halfway there you know you're really gaining the skill like you know thank you i'm just gonna uh, you know I'm, I'm just like you know i'm just like what's really happening what's this I, I really know. about I'm, i don't know i'm gonna have another glass of water don't do it I'm, I'm gonna have another don't glass do of it water. don't oh, do it here's a great idea what if i had another glass of water you i know? Like, i'm gonna take it from you i'm gonna take it from you you can't have any more water give, I mean, I mean, like, what? give, me, the, give me the glass no like, no one's ever told you're me you're not stop a, drinking water you you're know? not like, a tank you're not a tank you know what i mean you don't you're not a tank this is you don't need this much fuel you know okay you're gonna okay. you're gonna I'm burst sorry. i'm sorry I'm, i might be addicted to drinking water I might be, uh, you know, I, I, I'm really glad you're helping here. You're here for me, you Look, know. I'm going to use this toilet and I'm going to use it so bad that you'll never want to use it again. And that okay. will teach you a lesson. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to stand here and like finish my water, you know, like. Don't, no, don't, I can't go while you're drinking water. Okay. I'm sorry. Well, uh, well now it, I wait, wait, went back in. I'm done. I can't. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Wait, it went back in. <laughs> don't, don't dwell on it. Okay. <laughs> 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 i just i don't have to go anymore okay 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 fair enough ah, man i just feel like an imposter sometimes you know oh really why yeah i don't know how to i don't know what if this is normal i'm just assuming that 14 glasses of water in eight minutes is normal well, uh, well or it's not I, I, normal i'm assuming it's not normal because i was in prison for so long and now i'm free and and I just I feel like I'm messing this up. Okay, I feel like no, I'm no, no. You're not up. messing up anything. Like, listen, like if it's anything, it's me. Like, like no. being obsessed with drinking water. You know, like oh, it's not you. You're good. Oh, okay. You're Thank a good you. Dude. Like, you're a good dude. Thank I'm you. really glad that you're ever living I, here together. I, you know. I think there's a leak though. You must have a leak in your ceiling. I think I keep spilling water on the ground. You know, Is like that as it? I'm drinking it. I'm gonna go have another drink of but water. It, no, you know, don't, like, don't I, you know, dare. Like, let's let's celebrate this. Let's do celebrate, not like, do like, this like, to like, me. Like, Why is this happening? Why is this happening? 
What is I, happening? Like, listen, I'm just going to drink another glass of water. You know, we'll just keep chit-chatting. Like, you know, um, uh, I, I feel like hydration is very important to me right now. Like, uh, yeah, let's just like chit-chat about music, you know? Okay. Uh, what did you think of my songs? I, I like them a lot. I'm very really? excited for you to like... Um, tune the guitar more yes you know like I, I think yeah but like overall i think like you know things are going good like you know like i think okay. that like i'm i'm really happy that you're here and like uh i think that like you know this is this is really working out like you know like like you and me and my water you know just hanging out in our apartment you know what i mean are you water is that what you just said no no, no like, like 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 you know you and me hanging out and yes. i'm also gonna drink water you know like oh they, they, <laughs> excuse me <laughs> yeah <laughs> sorry about that oh oh man there's a stinky boot you know yeah well i feel like we need to i'm gonna go I'm gonna wrap this, this the... up a little bit okay uh, um are you going to the bathroom again yeah well i'm just gonna go wash my glass and like oh good Oh, okay. Okay, you're just gonna well, leave. I'm gonna steal some of your clothes and head out. But it's been nice knowing you. I'm, okay. Uh, you have fun. You know. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. Maybe, come oh, back. I'm, I'm being attacked by bees. Too late. I left those bees for you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no, bees. Yes. And that's and fi- then that's another episode of Simprov. <laughs> Water. Why, Why am I drinking so much water? Who knows? Uh, <laughs> hey. Thank you for that amazing, that hilarious scene of uh, Simprov. I haven't seen Sim. Ooh. Apparently, my Sim was just very, very thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and very leaky. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead and give us some idea of what's in your future you have anything coming up that you'd like to promote? uh yeah sure um so this is um so this is kind of um my i think it's seventh episode of simprov um if you want to check out all the other ones please check out simprov on facebook we have every single other episode nice. um available as well as like one of me uh kind of redesign the house a little bit a little bit but then doing a whole remodel is great um we have we're gonna have an episode every tuesday at eight o'clock um very excited for some of the upcoming um uh, episodes Uh, another place you can also check out uh me is uh it's all super on facebook um it's where i produce shows and then uh quest friends forever which is a group that angus and i are on um where we do uh dungeon dragon style improv yeah, we're looking at putting together an online show for that at, at some point in the future. So you can follow yeah. us on on those. Uh, also, just one quick plug for me. Um, I do a podcast called uh, Heroes Don't Do Paperwork. It's an improvised interview show with about like superheroes and stuff like that. Um, so if that at all sounds interesting, uh, check us out on the pod cavern. Uh, yeah. So you can put it in the chat now. And then nice. if you go to our page and then post it there, then people forever can see that and can follow you. It sounds good. Interesting. It sounds like a lot of fun to watch. I'd like to go back and see those episodes. Thank you so much. We really Thank you. It. Thank you for inviting us. Oh, no Woo-hoo. Yay. All right. And um, at this point, we are going to have our line game. So I, oh, no, we're not, because I am going to tell you the secret of who our headliner is next week. Don Pardo! <laughs> and, but however, before I do that, I'd like to ask any of you, if you know of any guest troops or sketches, musical directors, jammers, if friends of yours, get your friends to come join us. I tried to get my friends to join, so I'm. You might be better at it than I am. Um, we really need a lot more sketches. If you know anybody who writes sketches, so any of that, please let us know. Send them our way. Oh, I forgot the drum roll. Let's have a drum roll for our next week troop, which will be Hemlock. A bunch of is what I've heard they are. Anyway, that's what it says right there. If you can read it, see, I didn't say that. It's written there. (laughs) And they are from New York. And now, what you've all been waiting for, I'm going to bring up Faustino, who is going to be the leader of our line game. Whoa, hey, everybody. Uh, Thanks for, uh, first of all, give it up for Laura Zara for being the host of tonight's show. Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Yay! 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, as, we're try- as we're trying to figure out our light situation because the lights have gone lost. Speaking of which, uh, I'm throwing out the line game for today because since uh, Sim Prov was so much fun, we're going to do a lane- line game I just made up called The Sims Gone Wild. Based, uh, probably you have a better name for it. Anyways, uh, we're going to have a suggestion of either objects or every activities, and we're basically get, um, things that are basically out of our control, and we're going to justify them using puns. So, for example, a uh, suggestion is a banana. Uh, we'll basically say, oh, I slipped on the floor and I thought it was appealing. This can go way better. You're going to help me figure out this is a good line game. Right? Um, let's get started with something easy. Let's do an everyday activity you do in your house because that's what we saw. What's an everyday activity you do in your house? Drink water. <laughs> drink drink <laughs> water. Uh, let's, uh, we are uncontrollably drinking water. Uh, and some kind of pun associated with that. So if you got a pun or a, a response to that, go ahead and come up and we'll call you one by one. First of all, Jess Kent from Omaha, Nebraska. My doctor told me to drink a glass of water, so I drink hydrate of them. Great, uh, great. Laura Zoe from Francisco. <laughs> all I do every day is drink water. I'm just a big drip. <laughs> Fantastic. Brian Sebi from Wheaton. Hail hydrate. <laughs> uh, mismatched, mismatched sci-fi references. Michael Strauskas. I'm a bit clumsy when I try to drink water, so it hasn't been. <laughs> do it, do it. <laughs> do it. It didn't H to go very well. Uh, oh. uh, Rich Hellborn. Uh, this glass of water is so exciting. It's more like H2. Whoa! Woo! Oh, gosh. Uh, Colin White. I drank so much water during so that hard. Doctor Who marathon I was doing the it other night so hard, that I thought they were saying, Hydrate! The Doctor! Hydrate! Oh, man. That one really freaked me out. So we're actually going to put an, uh, Angel in the burn box. Uh, we're gonna get another activity that's not drinking water. This is an actual thing. People do this as a normal tour around the house. Sweeping. Sweep. Then probably. Uh, we're gonna go with sweeping. Uh, uncontrollable sweeping and related puns or jokes. I sweep every day. And every day the sweep is always the same. But one day I'll become I'll have s I'll become a sweeping witch. That's what I want. Sweeping witch, hooray. Uh which one? Uh I got actually got into a fight with someone and we were both uh fighting with brooms. It was a real dust up. Uh, uh I also got in a fight too. We got into a real Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else for sweeping? Rick, Nick, Rick Uh Yeah, I, I swept so much that it left me with dustpan hands. <laughs> oh my gosh, we got Alani's got one. There's a new broom out. It's really sweeping the nation. Oh. Uh, hey. <laughs> so I had one, but I forgot it. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Fucked off your mind. Uh, the whale. <laughs> oh, um, wait, I'm supposed to say something about a broom, but sweep. <laughs> uh, uh, what does the astronaut clean his house with? Bruh. What The wet jet. <laughs> wet jet. Uh... <laughs> Speaking of wet jet, we're going to get one last thing. Uh, inspired by the whale, I don't know why I'm thinking this, but something having to do with maritime. Things you do on a boat. What is an everyday activity you would do on a boat or a large ship? Cooking. We're going to cooking on a ship. What could possibly happen when you cook on a ship? Uh, any puns or jokes related to cooking on ships specifically? Dave Shapiro. Don't cook fondue on a ship. Just not a good idea. The oil. That's it. How you doing, Faustino? Nice to you. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Still trying to rig up the situation. <laughs> well, I can't cook on land, so I better. I guess I better try Moran at, war- at sea. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> that was better than what I had. Lana. 
Doggy. Have you tried the breakfast bar on the ship? Don't get your expectations up. I'm <laughs> done. <laughs> Cooking on a chip is amazing. I always have free fish and water to cook. I've right, got a couple yeah. more, Mitch Shelburne. You know, uh, we're cooking all these turkeys on the boat and just like, hopefully we don't get attacked by a shark. You know something, with all these turkeys, we're gonna need a bigger gravy boat. But, um, uh. <laughs> uh, all right, from here, we're looking for our one. What's, gonna, what's the joke's gonna end it all? Just cut. People on land like to have delicate foods, but the people on a boat cook with sterno stuff. You know, when you when you load up your plate, uh, some people say do as much as you want. What I say is don't go overboard. Hey, Nick, didn't you still live in Anchorage? Ah. Uh, uh, When when I was carrying that uh, Mexican dessert and I th accidentally dumped it off the side of the boat, everyone yelled, Flan overboard! <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, last one, Lana, what do you got? Uh, they told the ship's uh, cook that he had to cook with seawater. He's really salty about it. Hey! 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 There we go. <laughs> <Good job. laughs> Give it up for all this weird made up jokes. Yeah. Woo! Thank you so much. Yay for humor. Take it back. Yay. Thank you, Faustino. Great line game. Oh, honey. Like those last minute line games. Um, all right, so what I need you all to do now is don't turn off your cameras. We are going to take our group picture. So everyone come up. Oh. Yeah, fix yourselves up. Make yourself look beautiful. Ready? One, two, three. That was our normal picture. Oh, which is not taking with my, I don't know why, for some reason. I am snapping multiple pictures. I got, I got your back. Right. One more picture. Everybody make a cute picture. Cute. Ooh, ooh. Cute. We're cute. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right. This has the inner city long form improv jam. Woo! Yay.